So good afternoon. My name is Guilherme Cavalcante and I'm going to present this work entitled Evaluate and Improve semi structure Merge. So our context is collaborative software development in which merge conflicts might be a frequent problem. For instance, Zimmerman describes that merge conflicts happen from a range to, in a range from 23 to 46 percent of all files integrations. Cousin Sarma and Brunet also found that merge conflicts happen in an average of 50% of all merge situations and that 31% of merge scenarios free of merge conflicts still had built or behavioral errors. To deal with these problems, researchers have proposed tools that use different strategies to boost the increased integration effort and improve integration correct correctness. For instance, unstructured merge which corresponds to the state of Pratt's on merge tools, operates purely on plain text, and if two, review, two developers edit the text in the same text area, the tool notifies a conflict. <coughs> in turn, semi structure merge tries to improve unstructured merge with respect to the conflict detection and resolution by working on simplified path trees representing the program structure. Such trees include some but not all structural information of a program. Concerning Java, for instance, class methods and field declaration are nodes, whereas expressions and statements are hidden in the leaves in the form of plain text, in plain text. And for those elements whose structure is not exploited, semi structure merge simply invokes and applies the textual resolution of a structure merge. Previous studies compared this two merge approach with respect to the number of reported conflicts, showing for most projects and merge situations, reduction in favor of semi structure merge. So, for instance, in merge situations where semi structure merge reduces the number of reported conflicts, a pair at all show average reduction of 34%. We, in a, repli a replication of that study with a different sample, found an even greater average reduction of 62% again in favor of semi structure merge. This reduction is mainly due to automatic resolution of unstructured merge false positives, which are reported when, for instance, developers add different and independent methods declaration to the same text area, also called ordering conflicts. This evidence, however, is not enough to justify industrial adoption of semi structure merge. The problem is that previous studies do not investigate if the observed reduction of the number of conflicts actually leads to integration for reduction without negative impact on integration correct. In particular, these merge strategies have false positives and false negatives. False positives represent a necessary integration effort because developers have to spend time resolving conflicts that actually are not problems and false negatives represent build of behavioral errors negatively impacting software quality and integration correctness. So as even a not disadvantage of a new tool can become a huge barrier for its adoption in Pratt's, if we want to move forward on the state of Pratt's on merge tools, we need solid evidence and further knowledge about false positives and false negatives resulting from this two merge approach. In fact, uh, <coughs> The observed reduction of the number of conflicts by semi structure merge in previous studies could have been obtained at the expense of missing actual conflicts between developer exchange or false negative. If that's, if that's the case, semi structure merge is just postponing conflict detection to other integration phases such as building and testing. So, for instance, semi structure merge algorithm assumes that the order of import statements does not matter and allows developers to add import statements involving members with the same name in the, in the same text area, which leads to type ambiguous errors by the compiler. Moreover, given that the set of conflicts reported by semi structure merge in previous studies is often smaller but not a subset of the set of conflicts reported by unstructured merge, semi structure merge could even be introduced in other kind of false positives that might be harder to resolve than those they eliminate. So for instance, rename challenge semi structure merge because its algorithm is not able to match renamed elements, for instance, renamed method declarations. So the algorithm assumes there was a deletion and report a false positive 
when the other developer also changed that declaration body. That led us to these two research questions. When compared to unstructured merge, does semi-structured merge reduce unnecessary integration effort by reporting fewer false positives? And second, when compared to unstructured merge, does semi-structured merge comp compromise integration correct by having more false negatives? The main challenge of using false positives and false negatives as comparison criteria between their approaches is establish ground truth for integration conflicts and therefore false positives and false negatives between group exchange. In this context, this is not computable. Semantic appro approximations such as static analysis and tests are impressive and often too slow in the case of information flow analysis. Experts who understand the integrated code, possibly the developers, could determine truth, but not without the risk of misjudgment. So as these options would apply into a reduced sample with limited precision guarantees, we prefer <coughs> to relatively compare these two merge strategies with respect to the occurrence of false positives and false negatives of one approach in addition to the one of the other. We can do that by simply observing when the two merge strategies report different results for the same merge situations. This way we can identify false positives reported by one approach but not by the other and actual, from, actual conflicts correctly reported by one two but not by the other. So to answer our research questions, we adopt a three-step setup in which the mining step we use tools that mine GitHub repositories to collect a number of merge scenarios, each merge scenario having the merged version of the files. Afterwards, in the execution step, <coughs> we use tools of each merge approach to merge the merge scenarios to find potential false positives and false negatives. And in the analysis steps, we pass and compile the, the files having the potential false positives and false negatives to confirm the occurrence. So as a result of the mining step, we performed the experiment on over the 34,000 merge scenarios from 50 selected Java projects. Given that part of the execution and analysis steps are language dependent, we process only the Java files in these scenarios. And finally, as our metrics, uh, due to implementation limitation, our metrics are approximations. So we compute the overestimated number of semi structure merge additional false positives and false negatives, and the underestimated number of unstructured merge false post additional false positives and false negatives. This is not a problem if we find that an uh, overestimated number is inferior to an underestimated one, which means that this difference also apply to the real values underlying these metrics. Finally, the results. Uh, semi structure merge, considering the aggregate scenarios of all projects in our sample, semi structure merge reduced the number of reported conflicts by 24%. And to answer our first recession question about integration effort, we need to compare the number of additional false positives of each merge strategy. And we observe that the average number of semi structure merge additional false positive is inferior to unstructured merge and semi shooter merge also had fewer merge scenarios with additional false positives. Uh, Will Coxon tests show that the merge strategies present a statistically significant difference in terms of merge scenarios with additional false positives with a large effect size and also in terms of additional false positives but with a medium effect size. <coughs> Although these results suggest that semi structure merge reduce the, the integration effort, a more accurate comparison would take into consideration the effort necessary to analyze and discard the, the, the false positives because different conflicts might demand different integration effort. So to better understand the impact of integration effort, we manually analyzed a, a random sample of merge scenarios having false positives of each merge approach and we also observed project, project history to check how the contributions were integrated. The hypothesis that 
uh, integrations having code only for the con con contributions without new code demands less effort because extra code means extra actions, which means extra effort. The analysis indicated that semi shooter merge additional false positive, the, a fraction of the renamed conflicts, are easy to analyze and resolve. These conflicts show original element name with original body and new body. So <coughs> the integrator can easily find the corresponding declaration with new name and original body. Solution simply corresponds to declare a single element with the new name and new body. In turn, our analysis indicated that only part of unstructured merge additional false positives are easy to analyze and resolve. In particular, we found that about 45% of unstructured merge additional false positives are hard to resolve, which we call cross-cutting conflict. These conflicts mix part of different elements, for instance, piece of codes of different methods declaration. To resolve these conflicts, the integrator has to map the different pieces of code to the element to which belongs. For instance, to which method declaration the last for statement and the three if statements belongs. If, <coughs> if he do not understand he does not understand the integrated code, he won't we will only be able to do that properly with the help of the developer responsible for that change, demanding the effort of more than one developer. We also found that about 90% of these conflicts had simple resolution. It might suggest that although analyzing this is hard, resolving them is not. It might be also the case that analyzing is so difficult that resolution simply corresponds to discarding part of the changes. So for our first session questions about, about integration effort, semi structure merge is the, win, is the winning our sample. For most project and merge situations, it reduces the number of reported conflicts, has fewer additional false positives, and they are easier to analyze and resolve. Now to answer our second research questions, we need to compare the number of additional false negatives of each approach. And we observe that in this case, uh, the average number of semi-shooter merge additional false negatives is superior to unstructured merge, and it also has had more merge scenarios with additional false negatives. Uh, Will Coxon text you that the approach presents statistically significant difference in both trends, merge scenarios and false negatives, with a large effect size in, in both cases. You, you can also note this in these two box plots. Note that, for instance, unstructured merge third quartile is inf inferior to semi shooter merge first quartile. The third is inferior to the first one. Uh, <coughs> When compare false negatives, the greater the number of false negatives, the greater the number of post-merge builds or behavioral errors. And therefore, the weakness, the correctness guarantees of the, the merging process. In that sense, the achieved results suggest that unstructured merge beats semi to merge. But not that some bugs are more critical than others and that build errors are automatically detected while whereas behavioral errors are harder to detect. <clears throat> In that sense, unstructured merge also takes advantage because its addition of false negatives cause compilation errors, guiding developers toward the cause and location of the problem. So for instance, unstructured merge does not report merge conflict when the developers added elements with the same ident identifier, for instance, two methods declaration with the same signature in different areas of the text, but it causes compilation error called duplicated declaration error, guiding the developers toward the cause and location of the problem. <laughs> Conversely, semi shooter merge additional false negatives might involve souped errors. For instance, when developers add or edit different but dependent elements in the same text area, semi shooter merge does not report merge conflicts because there are different nodes and there might be a behavioral error. There is no compilation error which is harder to detect. detect. So for instance, in, in this example, the developer responsible for the set status method might not be expecting the extra notification added in green into the Bluetooth notify 
change method referenced by the first developer. This probably will impact program behavior. This evidence we found, we found will hardly convince our user to adopt same structure merge because the risk of loss in part of the scenarios in the extra complexity of the false negatives. Even so, our experiment uh, shed light on requirements for improved merge tools and we benefit from that and improved uh, a same structure merge tool available at this link. Uh, our improvement to further combine semi shooter and structure merge to reduce original semi shooter merge false positives and false negatives. Basically, our improvement to implement the algorithms we use it in the scripts underli underlying the scripts we use to detect false positives and false negatives in our empirical evaluation in the form of, of plugins or handlers. And the major concern for the design of that tool is ensuring that whenever possible, it's not to host the structure merge by invoking unstructured merge where the underlying algorithms are not accurate. It is also universally applied to files it cannot process, for instance, non-Java files, and able to resolve conflicts due to code notation. So considering the aggregate scenarios of all projects in our sample, same, they improve it to reduce the number of conflicts against unstructured merge in the original same structure merge. It completely eliminates the addition of false positives and had fewer false negatives. This way, the improvement is superior to unstructured merge in terms of the overall number of false negatives. We also need demo to demonstrate that the improvement tool is spread in terms of performance. And we found that to merge this entire sample, semi structure merge took 24 minutes compared to only 45 seconds of unstructured merge and two hours of original semi structure merge. This difference was actually expected due to the syntactic nature of the improved tool and the extra complexity of the handlers, but not that it took less than one second per mesh scenario on average, and it took more than five seconds in only 2% of the mesh scenarios in our sample. So that's all. It's important to evaluate structure merge because it exploits the syntactic level of expression and statements with possible new kinds of false positives and false negatives. It's important to establish ground truth for a selected sample to, to check how much the merge strategies differ from the, that established ground truth and evaluate all the programming languages and industrial projects. Thank you.